This year, I'm excited to announce that Jacksonville will be welcoming the NBA back. I want everyone to mark your calendar for Wednesday, October the 8th. Uh, to tell your family and friends, uh, and we're gonna really make sure we have some fun in this city because the Wizards and the Pelicans, the Pelicans are coming back to Veteran Memorial Arena. The Pelicans, all right. This game continues to be a terrific partnership with the NBA. It's one more opportunity to showcase Jacksonville as a go-to place for sports. We're going to have the Fan Fest again this year, so it's a great entertainment, free for families, and I'm excited about it. We'll also have the NBA legends participating in the events throughout uh, the community, including our very own artist Gilmore, uh, Robert Parrish, and our own Boston Celtics 10-time NBA champion, Mr. Clutch Sam Jones, who's with us here today. Mr. Clutch! But truthfully, Jacksonville deserves this. And you look at two teams, the Wizards, they almost made it this year. They played very, very well. So don't think you're not getting, you're not getting the Miami Heat, you're not getting a LeBron James, but you're gonna be surprised with these Wizards because they made themselves better. Jacksonville is a winner, so everybody get your people behind this. Get them coming out in October so they can see a wonderful game. Thank you very much. The mission of the USL, of course, is to lift the spirits of our military men and women. In this area, we have 50,000 military men and women. We, we support all branches of the military, including the National Guard and uh, all reserve units. When this NBA game comes around, let me tell you, the troops are going to be excited. They're going to be motivated. They'll be lining up at the USO doors for these tickets. We greatly appreciate the support of the city, Mayor Brown, and all that this event will bring to our city and to our military troops. Again, Mayor Brown, we thank you, sir. It's going to be a wonderful event, and we're glad to be a part of it. Jacksonville has a well-deserved reputation and a rich legacy for how we salute the service and sacrifice for those who serve and those who have served our nation. I believe we can all agree that we never show enough gratitude and appreciation to the brave men and women of our armed forces. On the evening of October 8, 2014, here in the Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena, we'll get together and have another opportunity to say thank you for those men and women who serve our nation and who protect the freedoms our families get to enjoy every day.